Dividing with whole numbers. How do you do that? Hi, I'm Jimmy and we're here to discuss how to divide with whole numbers. Whole numbers by themselves are very nice and manageable. You can add them, subtract them, multiply them, but division is always, you know, the, the tricky part. But I can tell you right now, one of the best ways to really divide well with whole numbers is really knowing your multiplication tables because, well, division is actually very much related to multiplication in that they're opposites. So let's go over a couple of examples and you'll see exactly how this works out. Suppose you have, you want to find out what 16 divided by 4 is. Sometimes you might even see it in this form, 16 over 4. But there's a common format to setting up a division problem. You may have seen something that looks like this. Now, the number that you're dividing on the left, the number that's to the left of the division symbol or the number on the numerator is always going to go on the inside. So this is going to go right here. And the number that you're dividing by or the number in the denominator is always going to go on the outside. Now, basically what you need to ask yourself is 4 times what is 16? Well, the only number that fits that description is 4. Now, here's another br really brief example. Suppose you want to find out what 36 divided by 9 is. If you set it up the exact same way, the number that's to the left of the division symbol goes inside, and the number that's to the right of the division symbol goes on the outside. Now, we know that 9 does not go into 3, but you need to ask yourself, 9 times what? is 36. 9 goes into 36 how many times? Well, 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. And once you do that, 4 times 9 is 36, just to check yourself. And since you know this is subtraction, remainder 0. And that's how you teach division with whole numbers. I'm Jimmy, and math is power.